Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys more Amazon products that you need to have that will make your life so much easier as a reptile keeper. I did a video like this before and you guys really liked it and I had so many people comment and message me saying that they got certain things that they didn't know existed and how, just how much easier they made their lives. So I wanted to do another one because I have more things that I've come up with. If you guys want to purchase any of these products, I'll have them linked down below with my affiliate links. So if you use my affiliate links, I'll be compensated for that and that'd be really cool if you would do that. In the last one, I shared with you guys one of the most revolutionary products that I have come across, which is an electric misting bottle. It changed my life probably more than any other item because you don't have to pump, you just press a button and it mists, right? Okay. So, I have a couple different ones, but this is like the one that I showed you in the last video. You know, it's just like a regular old spray bottle, but with a button that makes it mist. And I love it. However, I found one that's even better than this in my opinion. For some people, this one I'm about to show you might be overkill, but for me, it's just perfect. It's literally like one of those bottles that you put like weed killer in and you spray your lawn, but it's electric. Like you press this button, it pressurizes, and then it shoots out of the wand and you can like change the spray density by just twisting the tip here so you can have it shoot in a steady stream or like a really fine mist. And you just pull this trigger and it mists. Yeah, it's just, it's like amazing. Because with the other one, you have to like carry the entire bottle, you know, the entire like reservoir with the mister. Like it, it's all in one with this one. I don't like the color blue, by the way. It just, this is what they came in. And I, there were like, I have a black one kind of like this. Anyways, I know they match, but that's not intentional. It's, I'm, I'm literally, I'm also wearing a blue shirt. I literally don't like this shade of blue. Like I, I really don't. I don't know what's going on right now. You can also make it so like you can pull the trigger down and push it up so it like stays misting without you having to hold it. But my point was with this one, you have to like carry the entire jug of water while you're misting. With this one, you can just set this down. The hose is pretty long, so you can just set this on the floor and mist in an enclosure or you can like if I have an enclosure up high, I'll just set this on a stepladder or something and then I'll mist all the up high enclosures. It's really cool. I love it. It has a rechargeable battery, so it recharges. I think this one holds a gallon and the other one's only half a gallon. I love it. So yeah, there's that. If you're still using a mist bottle that requires you to pump it or to just pull a trigger or something, stop that. It's ridiculous. We don't mist things manually anymore. It's 2022. We're using electric mist bottles. Get with the times, you know? Okay. Kind of going with the similar theme, the next thing is a fogger. Now this is not just any old fogger. This is a top fill fogger. It's basically like any other reptile fogger, except you just fill it by pouring water in the top of it. I don't know why this wasn't a thing before. Maybe it was, but I just wasn't aware. But most foggers and like even humidifiers and stuff, there's usually a reservoir you have to like lift up and turn it around and like unscrew it and you have to go fill it up and then put it back on the base and it's just a pain in the butt. With this one, you just pour water in the top of it. Life-changing, revolutionary, it's crazy. It's also really cool about it though is it has a built-in timer so you can set it to turn on like every 30 minutes or hour or two hours or four hours. You can also set the duration so every two hours it goes on for 30 minutes or an hour or whatever, you know what I'm saying? The built-in timer feature is also really cool. In the same, going with, okay, I promise after this, none of the other ones have to do with water, I don't think, but this next one I would highly recommend if you have like a misting system or a fogger or humidifiers or whatever, and that is an RO filter. So I'll link below the one I, really any RO filter though. Um, so RO is reverse osmosis. It makes really great drinking water. So good filtered water for drinking, but also it's really good for like misting systems and foggers and things like that where you need filtered water or distilled water. 
Um, it removes most of the minerals from the water. And then basically I used to have to go to the grocery store and buy like a bunch of jugs of water. And now I just have it on tap in my kitchen, life changing. And I also give like the filtered water to all of my animals and stuff too for drinking. Cause I feel like it's probably better than the tap water. And then because I do that, I don't really have to deal with using any sort of like water conditioner for the tap water. Cause normally I would add it to chlorinator. And I don't have to worry about any of that anymore. I just use the RO water for like everything. And like once every maybe like six months or something, I have to buy a new filter cartridge. In the long run, I feel like since I'm not buying a bunch of water, it saves money. Plus it's so much more convenient. Plus it's like better drinking water for myself and all my animals. I love it. 10 out of 10. So the next one is solar meter or a UV index radiometer. This one is by Zoomed. I think there's other companies that make it too. I'll link it down below like I am with everything. Basically, if you have any reptile that you have UVB on, I think that you should own one of these because in the long run, it's going to save you money in some way or another. Let me explain. So these are expensive also. Th these are not cheap. It might be hard to justify the cost of this up front, but like I said, in the long run, you're gonna save money. It's gonna be worth it. So this measures the UV output of UVB bulbs. It gives you the different Ferguson zones. Basically, you're gonna hold this right under the UVB bulb and have the top sensor wherever your animal would be basking at. And then you just press the button and it tells you how much UVB output is coming out of the bulb. The reason this is helpful is because you can know for sure that you are giving your animal the proper amount of UVB. You just need to know what UV index your animal is supposed to have. And you can know for sure that you're giving the animal the proper UVB. So let's say you check and oh, it's a little bit low. Then you know that you either need to get a stronger UVB bulb or you need to just move it a little closer to the basking spot. If the UV is too high, you can just move the UVB bulb farther away or use a weaker bulb. And these are also really nice because normally you would change a UVB bulb like every year. And if you have one of these, you can just periodically check the UVB bulb to make sure it's still putting out a good amount of UVB. Because I've had UVB bulbs last much longer than a year and I wouldn't have known if I had, didn't have one of these. Like I would have just thrown them away and bought a new one even though, you know, it might last like another three months or something after the technical year that it's supposed to last. Alternatively, you could have bulbs burn out sooner. And if you don't know that it stops putting out the right amount of UVB before it's supposed to, then whatever reptile it might be could be going months without getting adequate UVB. Another scenario that has happened a lot is someone will get like a UVB bulb and it puts out either not enough output or way more output than it's supposed to. Now this usually happens if you're getting a bulb that isn't from a reputable brand. Like if you try to get some weird knockoff UVB bulb from Amazon or something, people have gotten bulbs. And there, there've also been people who've gotten like mercury vapor bulbs where they put out just an obscene amount of UVB that's just dangerous. Like I said, if you're getting a reputable brand, the chances of that happening aren't as high, but just, there's so many different scenarios that this can save you from. And I just love knowing exactly how much UVB my animal's getting, knowing that I have the right output, the bulb's in a good spot. I know where the reptile needs to be basking in the enclosure to get certain things and what ranges. It's just perfect. Like I said, these are not the cheapest things ever, but they are so worth it in the long run. And it's something that if you keep reptiles, I just think that you should try to get one because it's a great investment. It's also just really fun to, in my opinion, to measure UVB. I don't know, most people probably have other hobbies, but anyways. Um, next, again, there's gonna be like a cheap affordable version and then like a more fancy version, but a temperature slash humidity gauge for like the room that you keep your reptiles in. So. On Amazon, they sell like these little digital display, like thermometer slash hygrometers that you just put in a room and it tells you the temperature and the humidity in the room. And what's also really cool is you can check from your phone to see what it's reading. So we have this like in our gecko room because our geckos, we don't like them getting above 80 degrees. So it's just nice to be able to always check the temperature of the room. And you can also set it to set alerts and alert you if it reaches a certain temperature. And it'll also tell you the highest temperature it got in the room and the lowest temperature it got. So you know what ranges the room is staying in. It's really good if you have a room with reptiles in it, especially if they're sensitive to like 
hot or cold temperatures or whatever. You never know if you're like on vacation and your AC stops working at home. It's just a really good peace of mind to be able to always monitor the temperature of the room that you're keeping your animals in and even getting notified if the temperature of the room reaches a certain level you don't want it to reach. So the more fancy version of this that you can get is a nest temperature sensor, which is also what we ended up upgrading to for our gecko room. If you have like a nest thermostat in your house, the nest temperature sensor is really nice because it's the same kind of idea. You put the temperature sensor in the room and from your Nest app, you can check the temperature of the room and you can also set your Nest thermostat so it controls the heating and cooling of your home to go by the temperature of that room that that sensor is in. So this is really nice because our Nest thermostat is in our kitchen and our kitchen might be like 72 degrees, right? But our gecko room, which is upstairs in a much hotter area of the house, while the kitchen might read 72, the gecko room might read like 78. So if we have the kitchen set to 72, you know where I'm going with this? The temperature of the gecko room isn't gonna be the same. So we need to we'll set the thermostat to control the house based on the temperature of the gecko room so it'll keep cooling, you know, until the gecko room is the right temperature. Again, that's mostly just helpful if you wanna be really, really extra. You know, we have like over 100 crested geckos in a room of our house, so it would be really bad if something were to happen. So we are at that level of extra, but for most people, the regular just little digital temperature sensor is probably fine. It's just good as a peace of mind, okay? Now, last but not least, we have, it's a bird feeder, just kidding. It kind of looks like a bird feeder though, doesn't it? It's a roach feeder. So this is a thing that you use to feed your reptiles roaches. It's such a simple concept, but it's life-changing. So what's really cool about this is you put all the roaches in this little base, and because the sides are smooth, the roaches cannot crawl out of it. You could also probably put super worms or whatever in here, honestly. Crickets would be able to get out. But you know, like super worms, roaches, things like that you could put in here. And it has this mesh so the roaches can crawl up it. And then I hang this in with my chameleon. I also use it for like my bearded dragon, my Aki monitors, my abronia. It's just a really convenient feeder for roaches because typically with roaches I would tong feed. Maybe try to put them in like a cup that they can't escape from but this is just really cool how you can hang it, especially for a chameleon or any other arboreal animal, I guess. It also has the mesh that the roaches can kind of crawl around on, and it makes it so it's very visible for if you have an animal that isn't as smart and can't see over the lip, they'll be able to see the roaches crawling around up here and they'll go after them. And with that being said, that is everything. So hopefully you guys found some of these items to be useful. Once again, if you want to buy any of them, make sure to use my affiliate links in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you guys in the next one.